Hi, how's it going? This is Jamie from Denik Technical Support Team. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about our new firmware version 1.2 for Android 10 indoor monitors A416 and E416. I believe you have heard of these two indoor monitors before. So today, I'm going to share these two indoor monitors with you. Let's take A416 as an example. The first feature is quad spreader. The new firmware allows you to monitor 16 IP cameras at the same time. And you can log in the web page of indoor monitor by entering its IP address, input the username and password, find the settings of IP camera, and fill in the URL of IP cameras. After adding the cameras, you can check the live view on the indoor monitor. Click Quad Spreader. On the home page of indoor monitor, you can view the live feed from four cameras simultaneously. And swipe the screen to the left or right to view another group of four cameras. And you can also enjoy the view in full screen mode. The second feature is three unlock buttons. When the door station connects to three locks, how can we unlock remotely for the visitors by the indoor monitor? You just need to log in the web page of indoor monitor by entering its IP address. Input the username and password, go to advanced settings, and enable the unlock via HTTP command feature. Three unlock buttons can be set with different names. And you can call indoor monitors by pressing room numbers. There will be one unlock button, and if you connect your door station to three unlock buttons, there will be three unlock button for you. The last feature is third-party apps. New firmware not only ensures basic functions of intercom, but also an all-in-one platform for different application scenarios. You can extend intercom's functionality with any third-party apps. Installing any third-party app on this indoor monitor is quite simple. You just need to upload the APK file to the web page of indoor monitor, the app will appear on the indoor monitor. Security and convenience truly come together in this firmware. Thank you for watching. Welcome to subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you.